The Georgia Board of Regents has passed a policy that has a big effect on illegal immigrants. Students who are undocumented will not be allowed admission into the state's five elite public university. Joshua Ninke joins us at the Arch. Josh, are students comfortable with this new policy? Now, Josh, are there a lot of states that allow these students? Uh, there are actually 10 states that allow for in-state tuition for these undocumented students. But we'll see how the rest of the country feels as the months go on. Thank well, you. Thank you so much, Josh. Airline passengers may not have to put their liquids in plastic bags anymore. A new machine developed at the Los Amos National Laboratory in Albuquerque can scan any liquid to check if explosives are inside. The machine is the size of a small refrigerator and can tell within 15 seconds if there are hazards. This technology is so sensitive that it can tell the difference between different sodas and wines. However, the machine does need to undergo more testing and certification before it will be used in airports. Facebook is getting bigger than it already is. The famous social networking site is working with Microsoft search engine Bing. It is combining Facebook friends and online searching to create social searches. Your friends' likes and interests will factor with average search results. Facebook is also trying to put an end to cyberbullying. They will be teaming up with the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation to reduce hate speech and anti-gay bullying online. Together, they have already removed hateful messages and violent statements posted on a group dedicated to victims of gay bullying. In other news, girls, get your calculators out. The math skills of men and women are basically equal. According to an online journal of Psychological Bulletin, the two studies assessed math and science skills from grade school to college and beyond. The difference in skills between the sexes were so close to basically meaningless. Need an extra weekend to do Halloween activities? You can this October. October 2010 has five Fridays, five Saturdays, and five Sundays all in one month. The last time this happened was in October 2004 and will happen again in October 2021. Where can you get a free pink calendar and a pink drink tonight? At the Real Men Wear Pink Calendar Reveal Party. The calendar features local Athens celebrities flaunting their best pink in support of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The money raised at this event goes to the One Day for Mammograms program, which provides free mammograms to local women in need. The event is hosted at Andrew Downs and Company off Lumpkin Street. Every ticket comes with a copy of the 2011 calendar and a glass of pink champagne. The event begins at 5 and tickets are $20.